Got the Suron Ultra B out today. Was working on the track back here, at least like this section right here. Getting that a little better and worked out good. Trying out this different mount view or different angle. Hopefully, I'm looking directly at the bike. Hopefully, the bike is somewhat in frame. Um, I'm done with my GoPros. They are just complete garbage. They never ever work whenever you actually need them to work. They don't work. Alright. circle right there then I come back here and I'll come around here around this tree I try to work on going both ways because I'm I struggle well I don't struggle but I'm not as good going to my right on dirt for some reason I can lean and go to my left real easily I'm right-handed I don't know what that has to do with anything but just working on going different directions um, Back here used to be my own little playing grounds, used to be, until the county owns all of this. There's the fairgrounds over there. They took uh, excavators, ripped up all these nice healthy trees that were back here. I mean, tons of them. And um, put them in piles. Now they're chipping them all finally after months. Um, but yeah, it used to be my own little playing playground back here. Oh, I'll show you a little bit back here I cleared it out a little bit Big sticks are dangerous. Come up and blast you right in the leg or break your foot. Ah, beautiful day. I didn't have to head to work. Alright, let's get out of here. They might still be working. Hey, sorry. <laughs> I was never there. thing just has the power to go anywhere this is in daily you could still go up to sport but sport for the most part most of the time when you're on dirt it's just uh, it's a much, it's too much power most of the time it'll just spin them see i mean just like this spin.
bike is just so much fun. <laughs> oh man literally just a freaking blast so yeah if you're in the market for this bike if that's the reason why you're watching if you're ready to pull the trigger on one i mean buy it absolutely buy it at sixty five hundred dollars online brand new great deal some of these people that are doing the alibaba thing i saw it's around what fifty one fifty three hundred dollars and they're gonna possibly take your van and your sticker and just scratch them completely off um, because I've heard they're just not allowed or not supposed to be exporting them from some places or whatever so like I said with my plans I wanted to make sure I got one with the van on it because those are actually recognizable numbers from the BMV or DMV so you can actually get these registered so um that's my plan like i mentioned you just gotta get your you gotta get dot tires so i'm either gonna go 17 inch supermoto tires or the 21 18 or whatever options i have to get you know 19 19 i don't think there's any dot approved tires but i'll start looking uh that would be the cheapest then obviously try to get my hands on the 300 dollar street legal kit so this one didn't come with it doesn't have the passenger pegs um i don't need those but i've got my mirrors on you got your headlight then you need to put your turn signals up front your turn signals in the back and your brake dot tires after that it should pass inspection and you get your off road title converted to an on road title so look forward to that next year or over the winter hopefully i can get that taken care of um for now I have stripped mine of all the uh, ridiculous um, stickers on it. I just don't like the way the stickers look. Also, I don't necessarily like the green frame one. I wanted the blacked out edition, but I'll spill the beans here on mine personally. I got mine used, which I was looking for. Looking for on Facebook Marketplace. I used one instead of buying and waiting and ordering a, a new one online or the Alibaba way. So... I got mine for $5,300 cash with a nice little two or $300 carrier for it on the back of uh, like a hitch carrier. So you can roll it up onto the back of your truck or SUV and put it on your hitch. Um, so I'm going to use that. Um, I don't know. I think it's like almost a 500 pound weight capacity. So I'm thinking with the battery out, I could put my Honda XR150 on it this the other way handlebar wise and i could take them both places here next year so i can't wait for that so look forward to that and yeah if you're in the market for this i mean i'm five foot seven 120 pounds um i'm not i don't i'm not on the balls i'm not like on the my tippy toes i'm not on the balls of my feet i'm like in between but once you're up on it it's perfectly fine um so yeah like a light b and something smaller would have been nice i was looking at the um i was about to get the e-ride pro ss 2.0 i was almost going to get that but if you're going to spend about five thousand dollars why not spend another fifteen hundred dollars and actually get you know dirt or motorcycle grade like components like brakes and stuff like that so i just thought this was the better purchase i think it's the better bike out right now um i think it's the best bike out right now besides if you have like stark varg money and then that is almost too much power in the dirt in most places but still i mean i'd i'd have one if i could get one so i think this might be the uh second best bike out though so
All right, guys, I better get going. Log off here and take a shower and head to work, unfortunately. But thanks for watching, and hopefully that helped you out if you're in the market. You know, if you're in between one of those. I saw Talaria came out with, like, the MKX whatever, 5. Um, that seems like it's going to be a great bike. I think it was right at, like, $4,700 or something. Um... I, I think that's great too if you can get your hands on that any one of these electric dirt bikes man if you can actually get your hands on and ride if you can afford it is amazing and i wish the people out there that deserve them that couldn't afford them that could like never afford them could get the opportunity to ride these things man they are awesome it just puts a smile on your face every time you ride it's just amazing just instantly instant smile so all right, guys, I got to head to work, uh, my primary job, and um, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and help uh, grow my small channel here. Uh, why not? It's not going to hurt you at all. Have a great day, and uh, peace out.